day, many across our nation celebrated the holiday that honors fathers and dads. Jamal Lewis recently started a movement called Dadvocate to show support for new and developing black fathers. Lewis says he noticed that black fathers often get ignored or have a negative reputation of not being involved in their children's lives, but it's not always true. Shows that uh, black fathers, number one, are more the most involved fathers in the household. Um, fathers of color in general are more involved. But yeah, I think there's a there's just definitely been a changing of the guard. The CDC found 73 percent of black fathers talk with their kids several times a week. Today is Monday, January. January. Monday, June 19th, the year is 2023. As with everything, life, we all we go through changes and things come to an end. Eventually, this is coming to an end. I've made a decision that mm, my heart ain't into this YouTube no more, so I'm going to have to go a different route, a different channel, different something. Um, this is coming to an end. So I've been doing this for over a decade now. I think I've said a lot of stuff. I've worked on a lot of things that I've accomplished. What I I think about did just about everything I could do with this channel. So now I'm gonna branch out to something different, um, something that I find more rewarding, and I like fitness. So I'm I'm going to start this social commentary um, channel where I sit and discuss stuff that's like news events or anything like that. Um, I think this is going to come to an end, and I will begin, um, we will begin working on something else, or something else. So, those of you, I know a lot of you all like this channel. I mean, I've been doing it for over a decade now. Um, I think I'm taking this channel as far as I can go. And I think that I'd rather leave on a high note, a positive note, and that's what I want to work on now, it's positive news stories, positive things that are happening in our community. Uh, this news article that you just saw, the news report that about black fathers. I think black I think black fathers have gotten a real tough time in the in the black community. They have been there are some great fathers, black fathers out there doing everything right. Too much focus on the negative black fathers who are not doing everything right and not in, actively involved in their children's lives. And um, I, my father was actively involved in my life. Um, my brothers and sisters, I, I look at my nieces and nephews and how they're actively involved in their children's lives and take care of their kids. Um, the black community as a whole, the media has really put a lot of negativity on black men who are not there for their kids. But what about the ones who are there? What about the ones who are involved in their kids' lives? What about the fathers who are married to their wives and take care of their children and doing everything right? We can't just keep focusing on this bad, this section of, of, of bad fathers who are not there. You know, we also got a lot of problems. And, and, and the ones who are there need support, love, and um, help so that they can continue to be a great father. So... I wanted to point that out in this article. It's, I thought it was a great article. But moving forward until the end of this channel, which is probably going to end within the next few months or uh, sooner, I've done everything I can do, y'all. And I really do think I thank you all for being part of this journey with me. But everything, all good things come to an end. There's some other things I would like to do in my with my life. Um, there are other things I want to work on. And I think that um, this channel has, I think we've had some good times, we've had some bad times. Um, and we will continue, I'll continue to put out what I, what I think will, will work and what doesn't work. Um, and that way we can continue to have a positive, I wanna do stuff positive that shows the black community in a positive light. I'm going to find those positive stories. They're hard to find. We know. Even I struggle to find stuff. And I go Google and looking for stuff. You know, we've seen enough murders, rapes and assaults and everything else. I mean, it gets to the point where you say, gosh, there's got to be something positive going out here in the black community. What's there? 
everybody in citizens of Niggerville, you know, there's some normal black folks out here. I'm quite a few people. I'm a normal black person. You know, I've had my trials and tribulations in life and I've had some positive things that happened and I have some negative things that happen. I'd rather dwell on the positive things that help people. You know, so a lot of people don't under, quite understand that, but um, um, I, I, I want to focus on things that help our community moving forward. And, but again, I love fitness. So for me, I'm going to start a new fitness channel with a friend of mine, and we're going to do some stuff, fitness, exercise, and um, we're going to move forward with that. Change is good. Besides YouTube and whack the whack the payments on, on everybody getting whacked the hell out of their own payments, I have to move to something that brings some more money. And uh, y'all know them dollar dollar bills, y'all money motivated. I can't breathe without money, y'all. I know a lot of y'all don't understand that because y'all got Jesus Christ taking care of y'all bills over there. But for some of us, Jesus Christ ain't showing up to do shit, so we have to pay our own fucking bills. Well, y'all waiting on Jesus and you're evicted, laying up, sitting on the street, your lights out and all that other stuff. We trying over here to figure out something else to do over here on this side of town. Because we know Jesus ain't about to show up and do a motherfucking thing. You Jesus loving motherfuckers. You idiots. Huh? But I'm going to say we're going to keep this video positive. We're moving on to brighter and positive things. And, and Jesus won't be involved in that bullshit. But no, seriously, it's this time change is good. It's time for me to move on to something else. And uh, somebody just pulled up to my house. So, short video. Y'all moving on. This channel's coming to an end. Let's try to find some positive news reports and stuff. Too. I'm coming back later on. This is going to be a real short video. I apologize because I got some workers coming over here to do some what? And work on this old raggedy house. Lord, I mean, maybe I do a home renovation channel. We got something going on in here. We got to fix. There's always something with these houses. I should have never touched this motherfucker. Good thing is the house I paid six eighty for the house. I have a current appraisal for one point six million dollars. I'm selling this motherfucking getting the hell out of here. Anyway, today is Monday, June nineteenth. The year is two thousand and twenty-three. I do have a lot of money in this thing though. Monday, June nineteenth. The year is two thousand three. I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of the day. I love you guys. And all good things come to an end, and this channel will be coming to an end soon. And I'm out. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Monday.